I've learned some cuts from Von Baden, but I still don't know any magic yet. Should probably go over to his channel and check that out. Is it strange that his voice is in my head? Nah. He is sexy as hell. I'm gonna go there now and check out his channel. Hi folks, Von Baden here. Hopefully it's a little bit cooler where you are than uh, here in Michigan because yesterday, scorcher. Um, but anyways, we're not here to talk about the weather. We're here to talk about magic. Um, <clears throat> before I get into all that, um, stay tuned to the very end of this video and I'm going to have... Um, a trick that I'm going to teach you using this, this force. The force that I'm about to teach you is the slip force. And I learned the initial handling that I used. I learned from this book, the Royal Road to Card Magic. This is a great book for beginning out doing card magic. Um, definitely a good, good read. Um, from your messages, which thank you so very much. You guys are awesome. Uh, you guys wanted to learn some different ways of making people pick a card, which is card forces and things of that nature. So um, I'm going to not five rows in, in a row, but I'm going to sporadically teach you my five top five card forces. This one, the slip force, it's very, very simple. Um, you have the card that you want them to pick, eight of hearts, is on top of the deck. You tell them, just tell me when to stop. They say, stop. You say, would you like to go any further? They say, yes or no. It doesn't really matter. You can go further if you want. Um, all right, so I don't want to use this card because I can see what this card is. So there's your card and it is the eight of hearts. So now the workings of that and keep in mind, I'm going to show you with an exposed view of this. So thumb down once again, before we get there, eight of hearts on top of the deck, thumb down, you let them tell you when to stop. You give them the option of going further if they want. Um, this is a very simple card force, but so powerful. So they, they're fine with that. Now, showing you exposed, because your hand would be like this, kind of covering things. But I'm going to show it to you like this with exposed. So I've got my ring finger on the force card and I've got my middle finger on the force card applying pressure down so when I twist at the wrist and I'm once again trying to show this to you exposed I'm gonna pull that one card off and I say okay I don't want to use this card because I could see this one and then there's your force card so now I'll show it to you again the correct way and then we'll go over a few tips. So thumb down, they say stop, you say okay. I don't want to use this card because I can see this one. And it's very important when you do this that you actually flip that up to point out that you can see this card and it makes it a lot better than if you Okay, well, I don't want to use this card. I can see this card or like this. You want to make sure that it is blatant that you could see the card. This sells the fact that it is a free choice and you want to be as fair as possible. Um, so once again, they're there. So exposed again, thumb through, they say stop and you cut the Cut the deck there and you're going to twist at the wrist and 
point. Say, I don't want to use this card. I can see this card. There you go. That's your card. Once again, it's the Eight of Hearts. So, a few little tips. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure, because I read this book years and years ago. Um, I'm not sure if it's in there this way. But I found that I've seen a lot of people, other magicians, that do the slip force. And they, okay, stop. And they do that. You can hear that. That's very, very loud. So what I did to eliminate that noise is if you thumb down and you say, okay, you want to go any further? No. When you do this twisting, you've only got, and I don't know, there you go. You only got like a corner on there and you can pretty much just slide it right off as you're pointing and it won't make any noise to very little noise. And then, you know, once again, you can show that card. So, now for a trick. If you wanted to, and we can get into card controls, you know, finding a card and controlling it to the top of the deck or whatever at a later point in time. But, <clears throat> um, just real quick, um... You can do do this. You're thumbing through. You let them shuffle the deck. This is the trick. You can let them shuffle the deck. And you, Okay, I just want to make sure the deck is good and mixed up. Or I want to make sure I took the jokers out. Or the advertisement cards are out of the deck. And you want to start here at this top picture of cards. And flip through... You know, it's all good, no no advertisements, or, you know, I want to make sure the deck is completely mixed up. And what you want to do is go through, because you don't want to, oh yeah, I just want to make sure all the cards are mixed up and look at the top card and end it there. So start it at the topmost face-up card and work your way down till you get to the last card. Then you memorize whatever that card is. Then you take and thumb through. Tell me when to stop. Okay. All right. I'm not going to use this card. I'm going to use this one right here. And you have them look at it. You could do a multiple amounts of things. Um, and some of it we can get into at a later point in time. But you tell them, I want you just to think of what your card is. Think about the the color. And you can you can pre present this in so many different ways. It's unreal. Because this force is so simple, you can really because you're not worried about did I get this slight right? You're more concerned with the presentation of what you're going to do and you can go think of think of the color it's it's not it's not a color that is dark but it it's a color that you that you normally put with love and 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 the and no not 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 diamonds but um uh, a heart, a heart. It's it's a heart. Okay, and just just think of just think of the the value. You know, if it's a jack or a four or whatever. Um, just just think about it. Just think about it. Don't say anything. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna say some some numbers. Uh, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight of hearts, and you blow their mind. This can be done if you know how to force a card. You can 
put your prediction or your card in an envelope and hand it to someone before you even start the trick. Um, you can do it with a borrowed deck. Um, and it's super, super simple. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please, 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 if you have not subscribed on to my uh, website, I do um, a newsletter where you can get uh, huge discounts on shows. I've got tutorials there. Um, like, share, comment on my video here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that little bell icon. Thank you very much, and I will see you next week.